In this video we'll show how the um, grid component in Alpha 5 version 11 can be used to solve a very typical type of problem and that is the um, uh, branch finder uh, application. Uh, so you can see here that uh, we have, uh, we're at a um, web page now for a company called vancity.com and they have a page where you can find the nearest locations of an ATM machine so you go here and you can type in your zip code or just a city so I can go there and type in say uh, Montreal and then press enter and then the map will recenter on Montreal and then show me all of the um, ATM machines that are that are close by so th this is a very typical pattern that that many different types of applications might have it might be find me the closest location of stores or find me the closest location of say uh, uh, hospitals or, or, or anything and so now I'm going to show how you can build this type of application in version 11 using the uh, grid component so first I'm going to go here and I'm going to go to just a very basic grid that I've just um, designed here which happens to be based on the um, airports database the sample airports database there's 6000 airports over here and for each airport we have a location field which stores its latitude and longitude etc and we've just simply got um, we've put a search part um, on the uh, uh, on the grid and we've set that we've put the location field there and we've set the control type uh, to be a map but obviously when we render this it doesn't look like the store finder app that I demonstrated earlier. On the other hand if we go to the same uh, to another grid also built on the same database and uh, we switch here to uh, working preview now you can see that this looks a lot uh, more similar to the store finder app and so now I can go here and uh, say type in an, uh, a city so let's go and type in say at Atlanta and then click uh, find closest airport and you can see now that the map is now centered on Atlanta we found the um, uh, closest airports that these are the airports within a 10 mile radius of um, Atlanta the data has been sorted by uh, uh, distance from the center point uh, and we have icons on the uh, map to indicate all of the uh, matches that were found and then we have the corresponding icon uh, over there. So what I'm going to talk about in uh, this video is how we configured um, the various parts of the, um, uh, the the search part and the grid part so uh, to go from just a generic uh, grid with a search part to this very specific uh, solution uh, to the problem. So uh, first let's talk about um, how we actually achieve the layout. So you can see here we have the search part and the corresponding grid um, next to each other. And so if we go back to say um, the demo that we were looking at, uh, this page here you can, th you can see that this map here is the equivalent to the search part and this list of found records over here is the equivalent to the grid part so so we have a search part that is to the left of the grid part so now let's go back here and go to design and then go to properties and in order to do that we just simply turned on um, use master template and then we said that we have a horizontal layout we, we could have also just gone and uh, chosen a custom layout and placed the search to the left of the grid but we just chose the built-in um, horizontal layout so that's how we got from um, the search part being above the grid to now the search part being to the left of the grid so I'm going to pause now and pick it up in the next video where we'll continue discussing the various options that we chose to make this all happen